With a population approaching 160,000 and over 2 million visitors per annum, the Cairns region is one of the fastest growing in Australia and covers 1,791 square kilometres. In regards to potable water management, Cairns Regional Council Water and Waste maintains and operates over 2,000 kilometres of water mains, nine rural water intakes, 63 storage reservoirs, one major water treatment plant and a major dam, Copperload Falls Dam. This network stretches from Ellis Beach to the north through to Bartle Freer in the south, west to the Great Dividing Range and east to the coast bordering the Great Barrier Reef. The catchment area is one of the most pristine wet tropics areas in Australia, rugged, mountainous and very difficult to access. Despite high annual rainfall, a relatively small catchment area combined with seasonal dry periods causes some interesting challenges in water collection and treatment. Copperload Falls Dam is situated near the headwaters of Freshwater Creek and holds 37,100 megalitres of water derived from a 44 square kilometre catchment in the Wet Tropics World Heritage Area. Constructed in 1972, Copperload Falls Dam Wall is a 45 metre high, 122 metre long earth and rock fill embankment with an impervious clay core. The dam has a concrete, ungated OG Crest overflow spillway with spillway control flip bucket on the northern end. There are no spillway control systems. Currently, water is mixed in the vicinity of the single 43 metre high multi-level intake tower by a destratification system. This provides uniformity of water quality and helps with thermal destratification and the reduction of iron and manganese. The nine offtakes in the tower have hand-controlled butterfly valves that draw water into the valve house where the outlet pipe splits into twin 760 mm concrete pipes, each ending in a flow control cone valve. These pipes are designed for a maximum flow of 1,420 litres per second. Generally, one cone valve is operated to provide approximately 800 litres per second of environmental and water supply flow into Freshwater Creek and down the water intake at Crystal Cascades. Required water is then collected at the intake and gravity fed to the intake structure of Tunnel Hill Freshwater Creek treatment plant. Cairns Regional Council Water and Waste is investigating the installation of a turbine in the raw water main from Crystal Cascades intake to generate power from the continuous water flows. In addition to Copperload Falls Dam, Cairns Regional Council Water and Waste collects and treats fresh water from Behanna Creek to the south of Cairns, as well as a number of smaller intakes for supply to rural communities. Initial treatment at most smaller intakes is via screening with chlorination and UV and is systematically being installed across the system. Water treatment at Tunnel Hill comprises a process of coagulation, flocculation, filtration and chlorination with liquid sodium hypochlorite. The natural features of Cairns pristine catchments results in water that tends to be very soft with low alkalinity and this creates unique operational issues for Cairns Regional Council Water and Waste. Treatment at Tunnel Hill Water Treatment Plant removes microorganisms and pathogens along with organics and particulates as per the National Drinking Water Standards. Water is regularly tested at the Cairns Regional Council Water and Waste Laboratory during different phases of collection, treatment and distribution. Water quality is the prime responsibility of Cairns Regional Council Water and Waste, whose major function is the supply of quality and safe drinking water to all stakeholders. Treated water is gravity fed to Clearwater Reservoir, which supplies the trunk main network and major potable water storage reservoirs servicing the Cairns region. Major storage reservoirs are utilised as rechlorination points and all reservoirs assist with gravity feeding into the network to meet best practice water pressures. Total water storage within the Cairns area is designed to meet a standard three days of emergency storage in the event of cyclones and power outages. 
with an average production of between 70 and 75 megalitres per day of potable water. The largest undertaking by Cairns Regional Council Water and Waste in supply-side demand management is the establishment of demand management zones, pressure management and leak detection and repair. A specially designed metering system splits the network into manageable water supply zones. Each zone covers between 500 and 1,200 properties and allows for monitoring of daily demand, assessment of non-revenue water and leakage monitoring, as well as collecting data for future water supply planning. Cairns has a number of water supply areas where pressure is high and this can cause high leakage. The monitoring of pressure in each zone allows these areas to be identified and excess pressure is reduced via network management or the installation of pressure reducing valves. This prevents leaks and saves water whilst not impacting on service to end users. Similarly, proactive leak detection identifies below surface leaks across the zoned metered system, assisting in water loss management as well as collecting, treating, storing and distributing potable water, Cairns Regional Council Water and Waste is responsible for treating all grey water and wastewater in the region and operates six wastewater treatment plants. Proximity to the Great Barrier Reef and pristine rainforests and wetlands makes wastewater usage and discharge a uniquely critical issue for the Cairns region. In response to this, Cairns Regional Council initiated, under the state's directive, the $188 million Cleaner Seas project, resulting in extensive technological upgrades and investment into the region's wastewater treatment infrastructure. The upgraded treatment plants produce wastewater with at least five times less nitrogen and ten times less phosphorus than previously discharged, significantly reducing the impact on the reef. Utilising various different technologies and processes, they can treat well over 100 megalitres per day of raw sewerage. The combined equivalent population, EP, of all the plants is approximately 230,000 people, well in excess of current population needs and in line with future growth forecasts. The three largest wastewater treatment plants, Marlin Coast, Northern and Southern, combined can treat approximately 47.1 megalitres per day under average dry weather flow. This can be extended by up to five times hydraulically. Sludge at all the plants is generally dewatered via belt filter presses and aerobic digestion. The northern and southern treatment plants are particularly interesting in their use of new membrane filtration technology. At Northern and Southern, the throughput capacity of each separate reactor tank utilising submerged membrane filtration puts them in the top three treatment plants of this type in the Southern Hemisphere. With sand filtration and some chlorination, recycled water can be used for industrial cooling, concrete production, dust suppression and irrigation at golf courses and parks whilst recycled water of the highest grade is suitable for non-potable household use. Following the Cleaner Seas project upgrades, the combined average production of our wastewater treatment plants is potentially more than 50 megalitres per day, with 2% reused on site and the balance available for reuse off site. The Cairns Regional Water Management process employs cutting edge technology and extensive testing and monitoring regimes. And this, combined with the Cleaner Seas project, has ensured that the Cairns region has some of the highest standards of water and wastewater schemes in Australia. Our commitment to these rigorous systems is designed to produce top quality services to our growing population in a way that is environmentally sustainable.